Okay, here I am again. So, um, I actually wanted to film this already a couple of days ago, and um, uh, only got to it now. But, well, there, there, there were two reasons. Um, I'll come to that later, but um, the, um, the main thing is that uh, um, my wife, she's still not back. And um, I, I made a couple of videos about this, and um, actually just a couple of days ago, um, I got another email from Luxair, the Luxembourgish uh, company, um, air company, and uh, they basically told me that um, she won't be coming back on the 31st of July. Uh, now, just for, for, for the record, she, she left on uh, the 11th of March, uh, 20th of March, um, didn't come back, changed to the 24th of April, didn't come back to the 1st of May, didn't come back to the 8th of May, didn't come back to the 1st of June, didn't come back to the 31st of July, and still not possible to fly over from Dublin to Luxembourg. So now it has been changed to the 10th of August. At that date, it will be exactly five months that my wife is gone and she left for an initial nine days. So there you see what COVID-19, what uh, lockdown uh, means. Um, it's, uh, it is hard, um, no doubt about it. Um, and um, just to, to give you a piece of information, I had sent uh, I'd gotten some, some mask that I had bought uh, and I, I sent the mask, one of those masks, to Ireland um, and um, it only arrived two days ago. It actually took nine weeks to get the masks over. So nine weeks to send a little envelope with a, a, a cotton mask in it, nothing special. So that's just to put a, a an explanation on on it well an explanation is uh, there, there 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 might be many flights uh, there might be many boats uh, but uh, so it took nine weeks for a single letter to get from luxembourg to ireland um yeah and um so the um um the, 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 the two reasons basically uh, that uh, that uh, i didn't make the video was because the, the one i was way way too tired um, now it's a weekend, I have a little more time. I actually was driving around a little bit because I, I over the last couple of days I had uh, watched a couple of videos um, because I knew um, my piece of information that I got that the Red Spot uh, a whiskey um, came out um, and um, I wanted to get a bottle. So I, I checked on uh, different levels, uh, contacted a friend of mine who was very much into whiskies, um, and um, he said he will check, but um, hasn't uh, gotten answer probably yet. But um, I basically got the answer that he probably got as well. Um, the Luxembourg market gets the whiskey uh, from. Um, well, it's basically for Belgium and Luxembourg. So if there is no whiskey in Belgium, the, 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 the same whiskey mightn't be in Luxembourg either. So I went to, to uh, Strassen yesterday to Maxi Vin, which is um, quite a big uh, shop for, for wines and uh, sp uh, other spirits and, and whiskey as well. Um, already gotten a couple of bottles there and uh, your man there said, the explanation, Belgium, Luxembourg, no. So I said, well, I had gotten the information that uh, in the Comptoir Irlandais, which is an Irish shop that exists um, pretty much through, all, all the way through France, um, they, um, that they have it. Um, and he said, yeah, that's a different market. Uh, they're, they're delivered uh, straight from Ireland and uh, that's where they're getting their whiskies and we are getting them from Belgium. So if it's not in Belgium, we don't have it. So, um, I uh, had um, sent another email to to a shop uh, that I uh, go there more or less regularly and uh, Luxembourg as well and got confirmed no um, I don't have it even though that uh, the the gentleman owner of uh, the uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pub and, and uh, a little shop attached to it um, 
uh, restaurant um, and uh, he said I put you the name up uh, so just if you're interested if you're in Luxembourg it's a nice place uh, good food good drinks and um, so um, yeah he goes usually to Ireland gets stuff and uh, probably um, we'll have it uh, next time because that's usually how it works so if there are people asking for it he tries to get to, to get the whiskey or to get whatever food or drink it is um, so um, this morning I drove to Metz uh, in in France and um, I got the very last bottle of the red spot so I'll be uh, trying that later on um, but um, be because uh, but when I was in the shop yesterday, um, I, I had to get a, a yellow spot um, because I, I wanted to, to try that again. And because of another video that I watched uh, and uh, that there was a little bit of uh, um, information about it, uh, I got the, the Chateau Léoville Barton, the, the green spot uh, as well in um, the Bordeaux cask uh, edition. So there, there was a lot of tasting that, uh, that can be done. and. Uh, Yes, I'm very sad that my wife isn't here and that I'm able to <laughs> to um, do something for the Irish economy, even though that I'm um, that I'm abroad. Um, as a, um, an acquaintance of mine said um, about uh, his wife, uh, that she's uh, single-handedly trying to uh, save all businesses um, in um, uh, Dunshockland. <laughs> But uh, no, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, in Don Um But um, the um, I, I don't want to to single-handedly <laughs> try to save uh, the, the 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 whiskey um, makers of of Ireland. But um, those are those is that's good stuff. Um, the the yellow spot, just for information, I I was actually on to well on chatting over the internet uh, or chatting mailing to to different people uh, i i had watched uh, different videos over the last couple of days and one was by whiskey neighbor and he had a, he has posted a video about uh, the the yellow spot a uh, very interesting one about his uh, thoughts about it uh, then there was the mash and drum basically he um uh, tried to give you the difference between uh, the the red spot and the yellow spot by tasting them. Um, the uh, then the the third one was Wisco Buckeye, and and uh, that was uh, Wisco Buckeye was actually his first video that he made on on YouTube, and it's actually it's actually very good. It's uh, uh, he wasn't sure what to get about the, the between yellow spot and green spot. At the end of the day, he got the two and he tried the two. Uh, he tends to um, the the green spot, uh, the mash and drum. Uh, tends more to the the yellow spot compared to the to to the red spot, um, and uh, the the whiskey neighbor obviously he uh, tries uh, tried the, the the yellow spot and and liked uh, his present a lot as he said, um, but um, then there was another the video as I said before about uh, the uh, the green spot uh, in the the border cask, and I was intrigued by that because I I actually my initial love was wine, uh, I never really was a beer drinker. Um, I have the up beer, um, and as you saw already on, on some videos, sometimes it's nice to have a beer, a refreshing beer. I tend to go for Blanche, um, and, and um, to just to to, to refresh, uh, but mainly it's wine. And just about six, seven years ago, I, I, I got into, into whiskey just because there were many friends of mine who always talked about it, and uh, so I, I got an, an, an interest in uh, in, in, in finding out but I've still never been drunk in my life and it's only for 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 taste uh, reasons that I'm really like a pleasure drink rather than drink um, so um, I'll try now this um, yellow spot uh, yeah by the way I put all the the links uh, up information up where you can get uh, the uh, uh, to the, the different uh, sites um, now there's always the yellow spot on, on everything now because this is the, the yellow spot it's the 12 year old and um, now um, I this is probably my fourth or fifth bottle of uh, yellow spot um, that was in the very beginning my um, favorite whiskey Irish whiskey and uh, it's um, now I, I that's what I, I said yesterday in the comment I said I have to get a new bottle of this uh, or the day before yesterday because uh, I um, 
I want to 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 see if it's uh, still that good. But I actually commented on it and I said it's probably in my top ten whiskies. I probably tried uh, definitely over a hundred whiskies uh, by now. Uh, I, I used to to post uh, pictures on on uh, Facebook uh, and uh, um, but uh, th this is very good and uh, I, I will see what what my comment be now after after this taste oh, the nose is still <laughs> great yeah they, uh, uh, they, they're all um, um, single pot uh, still and uh, uh, Irish whiskey obviously because that's the economy they're trying to save <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, um, Catherine, there, there will be some left for sure because <laughs> there, 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 there are quite a few. It's very good. It's very good. It's smooth. It's um, it's not too strong, even though it's forty six percent. But it's um, it's a nice whiskey. And it's probably a whiskey that many people who um, who will start drinking whiskey will like. Um, definitely good. Definitely good. Hmm. But now, now this is this is not um, a, a a tasting um, for um, for 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 to uh, to give you all the, the different tasting notes that one can find or or get. Um, it's um, it's only to to get my impression um, because, as said, um, that might might have been my, my fourth or fifth uh, bottle that that I opened of uh, uh, the the yellow spot. Uh, so uh, this one is a little more tricky to open. Um, so uh, that um, one who is interested in in finding out a little bit more about um, which one to get, um, because now the the um, the red spot is um, about uh, twenty euros uh, dearer than um, than the yellow spot. And um, so, um, see, now this is slightly different glass, slightly bigger. And this is another thing that I have to say because in the mesh and drum uh, he tried to, to he tried the, uh, the yellow spot and the, the, the red spot so you see there the, the spots in front of you and um, he actually had to, had opened the bottle a little before there, there was already a little bit out of it so he probably had about um, three four uh, drams out of it um, and uh, he said it's, it has always changed in taste since he opened it. And he always thought it was getting better. But at the, the I don't know, the fourth taste, fifth taste, sorry. He thought that the yellow spot was better. Now, the first taste, I would say the yellow spot is better. But... <laughs> right now, I would say the yellow spot is better. Um, I don't know why 
um, I think that uh, the red spot has less of the unique character that I have found in the yellow spot. I have tasted the green spot, uh, the original green spot, uh, not um, with any other cask uh, like uh, the uh, the Chateau uh, Leo Villeberton um, in, in Bordeaux cask. But the green spot, I was never really a fan of it. Um, the um, um, Wisco um, uh, Boxer, he, Boca, he did um, a, a video about uh, the difference between the green and yellow spot, and, and he liked the green spot, and he thought that it had, um, if I remember right, uh, green apple, and that must have liked the uh, uh, the green apple bit um, more than what he was getting out of out of the, the yellow spot. Now I'm not going into the, the different tasting notes. I just think that the yellow spot is uh, the, 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 the come back to the green spot was not my type of whiskey. But as I always say, you have to try more than once. Uh, for example, I'm not a, fr a, fr a friend of red spot. I've tried. I probably tried many of them, if not all. And um, there's something that I didn't like, and um, it's um, it's like with wine, with beer, there, there can be tasting notes that one prefers. It can be a more expensive whiskey, can be a cheaper whiskey that one likes. But um, now here, I'd say that the yellow spot is better to, for my taste compared to the red spot, even though that red spot is more expensive. But um, this is the first taste. I might give you some information next uh, video I'm, I'm, I'm making and uh, so just uh, gonna salute you so um, slauncher and um, I hope that um, everything goes well for you I hope that uh, your loved ones are at home with you uh, as you know my loved one is still in Ireland and hopefully be back by the 10th of August so slauncher all the best and God bless